Hello, budding viewers! So, I'm doing another video. I'm doing a few in a row. That way I can slowly build up some more since it's been a while since I've done some. So, here we go. And I'm going to be doing turbo yeast. Good stuff. So, the great thing about turbo yeast is it will brew alcohol, which generally you can't get to. Unless you use a dessert wine, and that's a lot of fuss. So, this does... 25 liters or five gallons of a sh basic sugar wash but well, the great thing is you can use sugar from the shop not that i don't anyway but this is specifically designed to use cheap nasty refined sugar why well one you can just leave it to clear and then you've got like a vodka or a cheap vodka but that's not what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using it to make other things so i need quantity so, we're going to get started. So, before you, uh, basically everything you're going to need to create your 21% turbo yeast wash. Obviously, you're going to need a 5-gallon fermenter. Uh, if you haven't checked out my video previously on how to sanitize and sterilize stuff, check that one out uh, before starting. That's a given. Obviously, a nice clean side, sanitized and cleaned and everything. So, this needs 9 kilos of sugar, it says. So, I got two 5 kilo bags, as you can see. So that's 10 kilos, that's slightly more than I need. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take some out. So we're going to first start by cutting there, that there. Ah, it's great, the cut line is not in the right place. Awesome! So, la 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 la, recut. Take it out of the way. And we're left with five kilos of glorious sugar. So I'm going to pour a little bit of that out. I'm only guesstimating a kilo, but... So I'll take... And that is somewhere around a kilo of sugar, according to the Snaden Smile. Roughly about the same size. So that should be around nine kilos. So I got myself a little sandwich bag, very helpful, where I can now put in this extra sugar and use it for tea, coffee, more homebrew, who knows? So just, you know, good practices. In it goes. Most of it, anyway. Oh, that was... And I got nine-tenths of it inside my bag and out the way. You can measure it, but to be fair, this is homebrew, it's forgiving to within, you know. It's turbo yeast, it's forgiving to within. Yeah, a little bit. So, to make my life easier, I've got this pan, it holds yeah, a gallon or two. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to be adding boiling water in, and because my fermenter is made of plastic, best not to add boiling water in. You don't have to do this step, but... It's going to make it a lot easier mixing in your water. So as you can see, that's quite a lot of sugar. So I've already boiled my kettle with a liter and a, whoop, a, liter and a half of Porsche in. And I'm going to re-boil the kettle. Right, so my kettle's just boiled. I thought I'd uh, wait until it boiled. I haven't touched this. It's still bubbling away a little bit. So now I'm now going to take my other five kilos of sugar and chuck it in. And the reason that I'm doing this before is mainly because when you're stirring it inside the, uh, ooh, when you're stirring it inside of the fermenter, if you use cold water, it takes forever and it's like sludge. There we go. So this, the the boiling water, just helps dissolve the sugar. Quick, must get every last drop. Now, I did do a simple sugar brew uh, previously, but that took a bit of time and it wasn't, you know, up to, up to standards, as I call it. There we go, just give it a little smush. And, to be fair to it, it does do the fermentation, but 17% and then turning it into, like, 35-40%, that's pretty cool, but this does 21%, and for making... 
liqueurs and things like that can't really go wrong wow and now we just keep stirring it I have made sugar mice of the same type of thing as making sugar mice so there we go addy 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 sludge and surprisingly the stuff right at the bottom is still dry hasn't gone all the way through and I wish I had a bigger spoon that was made of metal and you just keep stirring this maybe add a bit more water in until it's all nicely saturated there's still tons over here see still dry at the bottom just think if you were doing this with cold water it would take forever so in this goes yet more dry sugar hand blender would be really helpful if I could get it to the bottom but never mind so we're just going to keep doing this until it's all done maybe a splash more hot water since this has cooled down very quickly you can hear it bubbling as it's air pockets yum and it's slowly starting to dissolve in there you go add a bit more hot water to it yummy wow there's still stuff at the bottom that hasn't even got wet yet swap hands and stir and stir and keep stirring we want it hopefully to do something pretty cool like dissolve would be nice um, if you don't have a big pan like this you can do it in smaller batches or just throw it straight in but mmm lovely and this is pretty cool I'll just keep doing this and adding a bit more hot water in and hopefully this will turn into a nice syrup so I'm gonna keep stirring and I will be back right so finally it has formed a syrup with no sugar left unwetted so what we can do is move it over to our fermenter which has to be miles away because my camera is a wide pan thing that funny enough can get a really good picture miles away but rubbish up close so what I'm gonna do finish playing with this lovely slop take off the mic so you're gonna have to put up with the long distance stuff mm, stay if it will probably not no no it won't there we go and move this now to my fermenter This is cooled down to touch, there's still a load of syrup left in it, so I can use a bit of hot water from the kettle just to get rid of the, hopefully, most of the last stuff. Stick that on my clean side. There we go. And then I'm going to top it up, funny enough, to the 25 litre mark. So, water. Straight from the tap. So take a minute just to fill up the water. So I'll just get on with that. So, fresh water. If you live in a hard water area, you may want to use bottled water or filtered water, but I have got a beautiful soft water area, so don't need to worry. Yeah, 
another couple of gallons. Or a gallon, we don't know. Find out. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. Still a little bit of water in here. Uh, water, a little bit of sugar. So, just to make sure. Oh, yeah. Give it a swirl. Don't want to lose any alcohol now, do you? And there we go. So I'm going to pause it and move this a bit closer so uh, I don't have to keep shouting closer to my microphone. Right, so I've moved it relatively close. It's only a couple of meters away. That's how weird my camera is. So there is a little line at the bottom down here somewhere where you can see the, oh, the other side down here where you can see the sugar. So basically, I'm just going to get my hand in, since it's clean, and stir the last of the sugar in. Lots of stirring, even more stirring. But the great thing about this is that once you put all the sugar in, you don't have to do it again. It's one of the advantages of turbo yeast. So, some people say that it's really rubbish. Other people say it's great. I'm on the verge of, depending what you make with it, if you want to make anything other than sugar wash, then it's pants. But if you want sugar wash, it actually does a pretty good job. So, I keep stirring, more stirring. And as you can tell, it's relatively cool. Squish it around. And something like that. That is revoltingly sugary to the taste. So, got myself a little hydrometer for a bit of a laugh. Woo. And it's up there. Bobbing up on the top of the glass here, which is about the right place. Doesn't even have a measurement for it. It stops at 17, so it's around the 21% mark, if it was going to have a 21% mark. Then comes the fun bit. Take your turbo yeast. Dun dun dun! Find a pair of scissors or a knife. I had scissors. I really did. Obviously not anymore. Find a knife and cut it. Happen to only have this knife and this thing, so never mind. Don't slice your fingers. And literally move this up, so hopefully it will work. Come on, machine. Work with me. Uh, rubbish bloody webcam thing. So now all the sugar's mixed into the water. Just literally rip it open and dump the whole lot in. And this contains all the nutrients and the yeast to make it ferment. There. If you want to be uh, you want to be cool, you can take a stirrer and give it a little stir, but you don't have to. But uh, just to show you can do it both ways, I'm giving it a, a bit of love. Like so. Then, four. Oh, I just put the lid on three sides and leave a little bit room here because it will hopefully go mental shortly and then all we've got to do is label it so I'm down here and I've got myself oh, my apron got myself actually part of an envelope but never mind it sticks on and it won't come off and you just put what it is again turbo wash and then you put your percentage on it, so it's approximately 21% and your date. So it's the 30th of Jan, 
2016. So I'm going to come back in about a fortnight and uh, see how it's getting on. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather skew whip video, but needs must as the devil drives and all that stuff. So uh, enjoy.